and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swoosh and Reviewing the Market. So why did we sell off into the close today? Well, there's a lot of reasons, actually. Fears of interest rates going to rise next week, bigger than we thought. Originally, they were thinking the Fed was going to raise rates a quarter percent. Now it's probably going to be a half. I'd be shocked if it wasn't a half. Even though the betting odds are a third of people think that it's going to be only a half, I just totally, totally disagree. Uh, and the other reason is things are starting to come, I think, more to a head one year into the anniversary of the Russia-Ukraine war. And I think that that is affecting the market. So we were down today. We had a bad report. Again, consumer confidence is in the toilet. And as you see here, the market did open today lower. It was a tricky day. The market's been tricky lately because it fakes one direction, goes another direction, fakes up, then goes down. I'm not surprised we sold off into the close. I was surprised we rallied. But I, should, I shouldn't say that I'm surprised about anything anymore because this market, again, never seems to go quite as fast up or down as you would like it to. So why did the market sell off today? Basically, it sold off because of the momentum, which is to the downside. So let's take a look at it. Actually, let me just blow this up. So anyways, let's go back to Friday. There's Friday. So Friday, actually Friday we gapped down. Yeah, so this was Friday we gapped down, dropped, fell, bounced this taily thing here. The way we closed here was just really into the close. That was it. So the, most of the day on Friday, we were red. Just so you know, this happened like very, very late, the bounce. Then we gapped up on Monday and we ended up not going anywhere at all. So again, when you look at today's close, why do we sell off? This is a fall through continuation really from yesterday. We fell yesterday in the gap up, closed red, opened this morning lower. And again, started to fall off initially. Then we rallied up and then we started to fall. And in fact, let me tell you exactly what time it was late. Is around one o'clock, one forty-five ish. So again, one of the things that's interesting with this market is if you follow fundamentals. I mean, it depends who you're listening to on TV, because some people think the Fed's going to back off raising rates, in fears of pushing us into into an actual recession or a deeper recession. If you think we're in one already, creating more of a panic with consumers. Or some people think that the Fed has to get inflation under control more because it's still not under control and they have to raise rates higher, longer, faster, whatever. So I don't really follow fundamentals for any reason other than when I have to talk on TV. I will say today was extremely low day for low volume in the market. Very low volume. Again, here was the total volume, you know, right in here. It's just, it was a low volume day for the market. The whole week feels like a low volume day for the market, but the market also is drifting lower and feels very, 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 very heady. So why do we sell off today into the close? The continuation of follow through really from yesterday. And again, I do think that this week, just this week right now, here we are today, today's Tuesday night, tomorrow's Wednesday. I think we're gonna sell off, you know, whether it happens tomorrow morning in the gap, whether it happens Wednesday of the day, Thursday, Friday, I don't know. The sooner the better in my opinion, but. It does appear that this market just feels so, so heavy. And you gotta know that going into your trades. You know, be very careful with longs. You still have to be picky with shorts. Um, but it's one of these weeks where be cautious. Good luck everyone. And if you're interested in more information on the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.